It's experience that, that teaches, right? Otherwise, it's just inert concepts in our minds. It's ideas. To, to experience, for instance, a loving relationship, whether it's your grandmother or whatever, that action, the set of actions that comes as a result of that, that emotion is what makes it real. It's the doing of life that makes this worthwhile, not just the, the, the inert concepts. We got to get out there and experience and recognize that, that the contrast in the flow of the moment of, I don't want that. Like, I really, really don't want that. And I really want this instead. That's, that's leading us to understanding. You know, so, so when you're experiencing something at work where, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really crappy situation, you go, well, is it a crappy situation or is it an opportunity for me to step up to the plate and be the problem solver that I came here to be? Without a problem, there's no problem solver. You just sit around in a waiting room, you know? So you have to get in the game and not define every problem as a big hairy deal as something that's happening to you and suppressing your happiness, this is what you came for, right? You came here to figure stuff out and enjoy it and, and, and to be thankful for the opportunities for a solution. That's what a problem is, right? I mean, that's, it's sort of, that one's been done to death a lot, but it's very, very true. Maybe we need new words for it so that it doesn't become stale um, but it, if we want to be someone that is, is uplifting situations, if, if I'm basically the rising tide, that's what I represent. Whatever it is, every conversation, every situation, every parachute malfunction, I'm the one that observes and then realizes what the way to go is. And then I put, get my full attention to that and I go with the flow of, of that solution set. That's what I came here to be. And I'm not going to be constantly riding the roller coaster of, oh, this is sucks. You know, oh, it's ruining my coffee break. <laughs> it's ruining my, my ease and flow. This is exactly what you're here for. It's to go through the thick and the thin and, and not be miserable over the fact that life has contrast. That work has contrast. Uh, that's you know, where else is the light going to shine but the darkness? <laughs> It's Arlo Guthrie. I, I, it's one of my favorite line of all time, and I kind of live by it. I don't know if you guys know Arlo Guthrie. He was a, a folk singer. He's still alive, actually. Um, pretty old now. He said, you know, if we lived in a perfect world where everything, but everything was smooth and easy and everybody got what they needed, you know, equal wealth and the whole thing, you'd have to go an awfully long way in the world to make any kind of a significant difference. But in this world, you know, he said, in a world that sucks, <laughs> you don't have to do very much at all to make a difference. You just got to try. Just a little bit, just a little bit of, of improvement from the perspective of I have power. I can do something. I can influence it. I can say something to someone. And, and that's going to go somewhere. And you just got to believe that. Um, especially now we've got the ability to communicate with so many people and gather so much information non-locally. Hey, we got no more excuses. <laughs> awesome. Any Anyone else have any questions or comments for Brian before we let him go and do our rapid fire check-in? Oh, I have one question. Uh, what, uh, what's your advice for reducing anxiety when you're speaking? I realize that it happens sometimes, and I just fight to just speak with a fear. But when it happens, it's like my breathing getting heavy, and I just forget words, like disappears in my mind. Yeah. So what's your advice? Yeah. Well, if you only have a little bit of time in order to regain your composure and slow down your physiological processes, you got to be super efficient. You know, you really have to just 
snap out of it. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to put my feet on the floor. I might take my shoes off so I feel the earth under me and I ground my energy. Like, I mean, actually ground my energy. I don't know if you guys have studied electrical grounding, but it makes a big, big difference. You know, that's where walking barefoot in the grass and that sort of thing is very powerful. But I'm going to stop. And I'm going to breathe all the way in, right? And I'm going to hold for a moment. And I'm going to slowly, slowly let it out, restricting the throat so it's not dumping the exhale. I'm letting it out slowly. And I'm going to, you know, they call cleansing breath. I'm going to let it all the way out, all the way out. And I'm going to slowly return the air back inside my body and surrender in these the, this kind of breathing surrender to to just silence and peace and not thinking about the content not thinking about right now what i need to do to solve the problem i'm going to think about emptiness i'm going to think about the beautiful peaceful loving emptiness that is the basis of my consciousness and if i don't you know i don't have the restriction of time well, I can go further into it. You know, I, I can do other things like walking in nature. I can do an Epsom salts bath, you know, and light some candles and put on some chill music, you know, because it grounds the energy, right? I mean, Epsom salts is, you know, it's a salt. And so the electrical, you know, sort of static electricity in your whole body, these, these rituals do something. It's, it's, it's a medical intervention. It is when we're stressed. And it yes, it is a symptom of our thought process, but it's hard to resolve that symptom if it's if we're immersed in it. So we have to slough off that that uh, that uh, adrenaline and the physiological symptoms of stress in every way that we can. If we need to distract ourselves, that can be useful. To get the ball rolling in a new direction. You know, this is where music and things like that or comedy, laughing, man, laughing is if, if you're in an elevated state, right? I'm, I'm under canopy, under a prototype parachute, and I don't know if the thing's going to collapse on me. And sometimes it's a bumpy day bouncing around. I can't escape. I'm here is what it is. So therefore, I have to take the deep breath the best that I possibly can and relax in the exhale, relax my body. And then in this inspiration, right, the inhale, I allow myself to feel joyful and, and comedic. <laughs> you know, like, holy shit, this is crazy, man. That that's sane. That, that is the relief. Right. When you cannot get rid of it, when you cannot expunge the stress completely because you're still immersed in it, you got to go with the flow with it. And that big wave that's coming, you paddle with it and you have a completely different experience than somebody static that's trying to stop the world from rolling. It's not going to stop in this case. So you have to say yes to it. You have to surrender to it. And you got to keep your you know, sort of feisty self activated instead of shutting down your light you turn up the light you turn on the disco ball <laughs> you know and go yes this is freaking scary and it's exciting and it's going to be a story <laughs> you know it's going to be a story that i tell later on and go oh my god i was losing my mind <laughs> you know i thought i was going to lose everything and then something shifted in me right that's the story i want you to be able to tell something shifted in a moment where I woke up from the nightmare and I realized that my life is a lucid dream, that I have the ability to alter my perspective to a higher one and choose my life, choose the circumstances, choose that the, this is, you know, uh, one of my, my favorite ones, right? Applies perfectly. Bloom where you're planted. This life, this moment, this situation, this is your opportunity. You may have a different job later. You might have a different boyfriend, girlfriend. You might have a new house, you have a new country, who knows? But right now, where you are, you might as may, well make the best of it. So that's, I want to leave it with that. How's that?
<laughs> Mic drop. Mic drop, exactly. <laughs>